In 2025, modding your 3DS is easier than it's ever been before. It doesn't take long at all, and I was able to mod my 3DS to get all these games loaded up in under 20 minutes. Today, I'll be showing you everything you need to do to get your 3DS modded, and I'm going to try to make it as simple and easy to understand as possible. But first, let me show you what's actually required. I'm going to turn off my 3DS, and I'm going to be modding this one right here. This is my old Nintendo 3DS XL. I don't know where the mug tip sticker went, but of course, you are going to need a 3DS system that's not modded already. Next up, you you're definitely going to need an SD card. So right here in my hands, I have two different types. On the left is a micro SD card, and on the right is a standard size SD card. Some newer models of 3DSs and 2DSs use this type of SD card, but if you have an older one like this, you're going to have the larger SD card. If you don't have an SD card yet, I definitely recommend getting one that's larger than this. This is only 4 gigabytes. I would go for at least 128 gigabytes, or maybe 64. Next up, you'll need something like this, which could plug into a computer and has an SD card slot right here here. I use one that looks like this, and the reason is that so you can put in your SD card right here and then plug it like a flash drive into your computer. If your computer or laptop already has an SD card in it, then this won't exactly be necessary. So, the first thing you'll want to do is plug the SD card into your computer, whether that be through the adapter or right into your computer if it has the option. Now that your SD card popped up right here, right click on it and click on format, and then you'll want to make sure it's formatted in FAT32. If you click on it, you may see stuff like NTFS, FAT32, fat it has to be fat 32 and then just click on start and it'll wipe every file on the sd card so be careful if you have any files on your sd card from your 3ds or just from anything in general definitely make sure to back them up on your computer before you format it once it's formatted in fat 32 you are ready to get started so let's go back to the 3ds and put in your sd card got my 3ds ready we're gonna put the sd card back in from the computer there we go and make sure to turn it on and then we're gonna go over to system settings when it loads up and you're over here on system System settings first make sure you have an active internet connection added there we go connection successful I actually had no internet on here but I've now added my internet and we're good to go now go all the way back to this main area and you're gonna want to go down to other settings and then go all the way to the right and click on system update it is now updating and for this tutorial I will have the version number on screen that I'm using at the time of recording this but in the future you may have a higher update version I kind of doubt this I don't know if Nintendo is really gonna push out more updates to the 3ds system but you never know. Don't worry though, you're gonna want to be in the latest version, so get that updated. Now, your 3DS should fully restart and be back on the whole menu, and we're gonna relaunch system settings one more time. As you can see right here, it says our update version is sys 11.17.0-50U. You're gonna want to save that for later. Now, you're gonna want to turn off your system and take out the SD card. We're going back to the computer. All right, plug your SD card back into your computer, and now there's gonna be two things you need to do. First, you want to download something called MSET9, which will be linked down below in the description and then you want to make sure you have python 3 downloaded on your computer when you click on mset 9 you want to make sure you don't download the source code click right here where it says the zip file ignore where it says source code zip or source code tar.gz just download this one with the cube icon first let's focus on the mset 9 file you just downloaded you should be able to double click on the zip file and view every file right here select all these files and drag and drop them onto your sd card there we go our sd card now has all these files on them and now let's focus on installing python what i did is launch the microsoft store and just simply type in python and search and right here there's tons of python options the one i have installed right now is the latest one which is python 3.13 and you just select on it right here and install it right here on your sd card with all these new files you're going to want to double click on the one that ends with dot bat and watch what happens it launches this command prompt and here we go it says please type in a number and then hit return so enter one of these four numbers based on what model of 3DS you have and what update. I believe the version I had was 11.17.0.50U, and I have an old 3DS model, the 3DS XL. If your 3DS or 2DS doesn't have the word new in the title and you have the same update that I did, then you're going to want to enter number 1. So hit 1 and then hit on enter, and here we go. You can see up here, it says current M set 9 state, ID 1 not created. So we're going to want to create that. Hit the number 1 again and then hit enter. It gives you a little disclaimer and you should be fine. So hit number one again to confirm and then there we go created hacked id1 it says press enter to exit so hit enter one more time and the program is now closed now take your sd card out of your computer and you're going to want to put it back in your 3ds system this next part may seem a bit random but once you boot your 3ds back up you're going to want to launch me maker once you're on the app it may say something like this creating extra data that's if you've never launched me maker before but if it just loads up like this then press the home menu button now from there go and launch system settings again now 
on system settings in the bottom left click on data management and then 3ds and then go over to software as you can see at the bottom it says the sd card software management information is corrupted reset it now and you're going to want to click on yes it should now be resetting and now that it's complete you can simply hold the power button and shut off the 3ds system now that the 3ds is back off take out the sd card and let's go back to the computer go back over to that same file ending in dot bat and give it a launch and then press the same number you did before based on what model of 3ds you have and when you hit enter it should say ready right here current m set 9 state ready and that's a good sign so press the number zero and then hit enter to close the program and we're gonna go back on the 3ds this next part is important as you can see my 3ds is booting on and see how by default when i turned on the system it was already hovering over system settings if it wasn't for some reason then click on system settings and turn it off and then back on you need to make sure that when you boot up your 3ds right here it's already hovered over system settings and then launch the app now that you're in here go back down again in the bottom left to data management and then nintendo 3ds and then extra data right here do not click on a single thing and with the 3ds still being on you want to take out your sd card now we're back on the computer and your 3ds right now should still be on click on that same dot bat file as before and then put in the model of your 3ds so i'm going to press number one now what you want to do right here is press number three for inject trigger file and then hit enter and right there it says msat 9 successfully injected you can now press the enter button to close the program and put your sd card back in your 3ds let me show you here's my 3ds right here i did not click a single thing and i got my sd card and i'm gonna put it back in and watch what happens come on there Got the SD card back in, and just watch what happens right here. Boom, there we go. We are now in the first stages of having a modded 3DS. Let's go. If you see this menu, you did everything right. Up on the top screen, it says all input files verified, and you have to follow this little pattern by pressing buttons on this D-pad. So right here, I'm going to click left, down, right, up, a to make sure i verified and it should back up a couple files right here there we go press a to continue and as you see right here the screens just both went black for me sometimes it goes black and sometimes it ends up like this which is how it should look this is the luma 3ds menu for now what i recommend doing is not changing any of these files settings so just use the d-pad and scroll down to where it says save and exit and then press the a button it should reboot the system back to the home menu and then press the power button we're going to turn off the 3ds and remove mset 9 from your sd card take your sd card out we're going back to the computer now we're back on the computer you know what to do press on that same bat file on your sd card based on the model of 3ds you have so i'm going to press number one and then right here it says injected current m set nine state injected that's a good thing and right here it says number four is to remove the trigger file so press number four and hit enter now there's an option for number five remove m set nine so we're going to type number five and hit the enter button too now you're good to press the enter button to close the program now what you're going to want to do is download these two files that i also have linked down in the description which are x underscore finalize underscore helper dot firm and finalize dot rom fs first grab onto the file called finalize dot rom fs and you're going to want to drag it over to the root of your sd card then on your sd card click on the folder called luma and inside of it there's a payloads folder and this is where you're going to want to put that other file x underscore finalize underscore helper dot firm drag onto this and bring it right over to the payloads folder now let's take the sd card and put it back into the 3ds now we're going to press press three buttons at the same time, the down button on the D-pad, the L button, and select. L, down, and select. Just like that, you should see this at the bottom, Rosalina menu. Right here, you want to scroll down and click on miscellaneous options, and then scroll to the bottom and click on dump DSP firmware. Press the B button, and then scroll up and click on nullify user time offset. Then simply keep pressing the B button until you're on the whole menu like normal. What we're going to do now is turn off the console, but after we do this, we're not going to take out the SD card. So turn it off and wait until it's fully off, and then start holding down the X button, and then press power again to turn it on and there we go you are now in something called god mode 9 and if you wait a bit at the bottom it should say something like rtc date and time seems to be wrong press a to click on yes and yeah you can see right here it thinks the date is 2011 that ain't true today's actually january 14th but get the time set and then press the a button and then right here you're gonna want to click a again then right here press on the home button and then at the bottom screen scroll down and click on scripts and then click on a to click on finalize this part may take a while you're gonna want to press the A button and the reason it may take a while is because it's going to make a NAND backup. 
Just keep pressing the A button, and then right here, you're going to have to do that little key puzzle again, which is up, right, left, up, and then A. It's installing some pretty useful files that you're definitely going to want for a modded 3DS. It's really cool. Now, you can just set your 3DS down for a bit. The NAND backup that I was talking about is basically backing up the way your 3DS normally works, just in case something went terribly wrong. You could restore that and go back in time. Hopefully, nothing ever goes wrong with you installing files or doing whatever where you would actually need to reinstall your old NAND. But right here, it says, it'll only take three minutes and it is almost done yep there we go setup complete that actually looks really cool it's actually showing you on the top screen what to do and a little bit of info on the bottom screen but let me go show you on the computer press the a button and yeah the system is now off good let's close it up and get the sd card out onto the computer all right we're here on the computer and on your sd card go into the gm9 folder and then backups this is your nand backup right here you're going to want to take these three files select them and drag them onto a safe location on your computer to back them up for me, this backup is around a gigabyte in size, so if you don't want this on your computer, you could upload it to something like Google Drive to keep it online. Now that it's on your computer, you could delete the backup right here from your 3DS. You don't really need that on there, and there we go. Now, let's go back on the 3DS. Here we go. My 3DS just booted up, and as you can see, we have some gifts to unlock. This is very good. Right here are a bunch of homebrew modded 3DS apps that have now been installed. The first one is Anemone 3DS. So what this one does is allows you to get custom themes on your 3DS. Next gift right here, this is called Checkpoint. This one is very, very useful. Next up, we got the Universal Updater. If you have things on your 3DS you want to update related to custom firmware, just click on that. The Homebrew Launcher, this is a very important one. And next we have uh, what is this one? FTPD. I believe this is for dragging files from your computer to the system without actually taking out your micro SD card. I could be wrong though. Ah, and last up is FBI. This one's really important too. I plan on making another video showing what these apps do, or at least the important ones. But for example, one right here, Anemone 3DS. Let me just show you real quick because it's so fast. If you've never changed your theme before, you're going to want to click up here and click on change theme. And it doesn't matter. Just click on literally anything, any of the free options. For example, right here, I could just click on yellow and then move on. And what you're going to want to do is launch this app right here. So this website I'm on right now is for custom 3DS themes. And I really like this primal grout on one. So let's just click on it right here and watch this, guys. Right here's the theme. And let's use my mouse to hover over it. And there is a QR code. And here's my 3DS. And let's press the R button and watch this. It'll whip out the camera and I could aim it at it. And look at this. Um, Come on. Come on, 3DS. I know your camera's terrible. You can do it. There we go. It says down loading and guys here we go now on your theme just press the a button and you have different installation options i'm going to press the up button right here on the d-pad for normal install installing a single theme it brought me back right here and i could press the whole menu button and let me turn the volume up too here we go come on let's see It's that easy. That is one of the many, many things you can do here with a modded 3DS, and I really hope this helped you guys out. Please comment down below if something related to this guide tutorial did not work for you, and if you want me to do other tutorials related to modded 3DSs, I'd love to.